right, so you got the short Ram Air intake on. Now, would you say, you know, bang for buck slash performance gain, would you say it was worth the buy? For the price that it is, it was mid 200s, uh, and I lost low end power, but I gained uh, smooth, I guess, high end power, and then where the VTEC kicks in on this motor between 4,000 RPM all the way up to six, seven, if seven, if I want to redline it. Uh, yeah, I would say honestly, for the bang for my buck, yeah. So especially up here in the canyon where on the high revs anyways that actually feels a lot better on the street i'm not really feeling anything any difference because you know i'm not revving it up i'm just driving daily driver cruising uh but if i try to gun it at a low rpm yeah i lost that kind of power obviously because i don't have the full cold ram air. yeah exactly and now that can easily be fixed by just adding the extra piping that came with the yeah, kit right what's great the weapon r includes a universal ram uh, kit with it that you can fold and mold to however you want. So if I do decide to take the stike, the stike, <laughs> stock, <laughs> stock <laughs> piping that's underneath this bumper and inside the wheel wheel, um, I can put that universal kit and make it a ram kit, a ram intake, basically almost like a cold air intake. So yeah, it'll pull in more air and it'll definitely be more effective low end and high end. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do that because obviously it's my daily. So if I decide to track it once the build is completely done, yeah, I might do it. And now. mainly, mainly he didn't do it because it, it it's it's kind of a lot of work on this car. You have to like, it's not as simple as it might sound. You actually have to get like, and yeah, you have to take I, the wheel off and all that stuff. Wheel right? off, bumper off, and the fender and all that, just to take the old piping out and then to relocate the new piping in. That's a lot of work for something that's just a daily. And I I mostly did it for sound. I wanted the engine bay to sound more lively when I'm driving with the windows down and you know I can kind of accelerate I can hear the VTEC kick in as they say Honda boys you know and how, how, <laughs> did, how did it improve the sound like what uh, changed it, it sounded it got a lot deeper for sure uh, it sounded muffled with the old intake but with this one definitely it sounds more lively inside when you're driving you can definitely hear it even with the windows rolled up you can hear it kick in and it's nice uh, obviously one day I'm gonna get a cat back exhaust and it's gonna definitely add a lot more sound to the car I love this motor, this this V6. I wish that Honda would put this in other in other cars besides the Honda Odyssey and the Accord. <laughs> but you know, this motor sounds great and this adds a lot of life to it. And if you want more sound, I would definitely go with this. That's dope. So any other? So for all the Accord uh, owners out there, would you tell them? Would you recommend that they put a short ram air intake or just just an aftermarket intake? In general on their card I would say yes depending on what their purpose for if you're a daily driver somebody just wants to have fun and just sound and look cool and, and feel cool it's a short ram if you're looking for performance you're tracking it a lot or you're a Canyon Day warrior you know Sunday warrior and you want performance then get the full ram air intake um, I am just you know on the boy I just want noise <laughs> <laughs> you know? just wants to sound y'all yeah. just want to sound really uh, but yeah, I would say it is worth it. Honestly, for 250 bucks, it's not bad. You don't lose much. Reason why I bought this one though, like I said before, carb legal. So I'm not gonna get no ticket that it's illegal if a cop ever wants to raise my hood uh, when I go to the smog inspection. I won't fail. So that's that's the main reason I went with this product too. Not many products are out there that are carb legal. But more companies are starting to lean towards that in California at least. Nice man. Well, there you have it, guys. The aftermarket intake is worth it and is noticeable on the Accord, at least. I mean, know for some cars it might not make a difference, but on this car, it does. You gain a nice little whoosh sound hearing the yeah. air suck in through the intake, and you gain what it feels like to be more torque in the mid to higher end. So, yeah. there you have it, man. Julian out with two motos. I'll keep you updated. Next thing is going to be uh, body work. I'm going to go through the whole car and get it ready for paint. I'm going to fix the bumper damage here. I'm going to fix the hood damage. Somebody, I don't know who I pissed off one time. I came out of my driveway one day and my hood was kicked in. So uh, I don't know who did that. If it's a girl, I'm sorry I pissed you off way earlier. I didn't know, <laughs> but that's kicked in. Uh, car hit my side. On, on the right hand side so I have a few dents that I gotta fix but body work is next and then after that coilovers so it's gonna be a dope build That's right. stay tuned cool